All right, so I'm going to show you real quick, um, and I've already done it, but I'm going to show you how to unlock the lid on a Speed Queen TR7 washing machine and at the same time do a bypass on the lid lock switch. Um, so you'll basically need to take the front off. There's two screws at the bottom. You can do it with a flathead or a socket. Once you take that off, there's two screws up here on this lid lock uh, uh, switch. You take that off and then you just jiggle it a little bit and it'll come off of the actual hook from the lid. Okay. Once you get it off, you turn it over. Okay. And then you can take a flathead screwdriver, something small like this for uh, eyeglasses, and you actuate the um, this plastic piece and push it into uh, position so it thinks that the actual hook is in there. I took a popsicle stick, pushed it down in there, so I'm going to just trim it. And I've already run three loads of clothes with it just hanging just like this and it's worked perfectly. The nice thing about doing it this way is the safety mechanism is still in place. We fixed this bypass, but the switch on the back of the lid uh, back here, it'll still click. So if you open this while it's running, it'll stop. So the safety is still there. You put it back down and it'll start back up. This is a problem. I've had to fix this thing probably five or six times, and I'll be honest with you, this is the worst washing machine that I've ever owned. Not happy with it at all. We've replaced the drum and all kinds of stuff on this, but this works right here. That's it.